just as I was uploading this video, we managed to get the patch notes out for the recent patch. So the beginning of this video will be related to the actual patch notes, and then we'll get into the leaks at hand. It's going to be a crazy one. Let's dive in. Okay, then Helldivers, loads of news to go through this morning as overnight there has been so many files dove into from the 22,000 files that were found just the other day. The leaks are coming in in full force and the developers over at Arrowhead seem to be just endorsing it with as much as they can. So we're going to dive on into everything that we know over the last 24 hours that you guys may not have seen so far. On top of that, there's a Reddit post that I really, really want to push out mainly because I think this is the most sense I've ever seen a Helldiver talk since I've been in this game. So with that being said, if you haven't already, smash that beautiful blue thumbs up and subscribe with post notifications turned on. It'd be greatly appreciated. On top of that, check out our sponsor, Control Freak, the number one in controller gaming aiming. Yes, that's right. We can get you guys at 12% off if you head down to the description click the link and use code cloud plays at checkout it's really that simple but with that being said let's dive on into the information at hand literally just as i was uploading this video to youtube we had a post announcement for patch updates going live in Helldivers today. So they've issued a patch for players that addresses enemy spawn rates, UI fixes, and general stability. And the patch notes for this one are absolutely huge. So before we get into today's video, we're gonna give you guys the new patch info that we've got at hand, including the balancing for enemies. We've also got gameplay fixes and normal fixes with a load of known issues. But for right now, we have got this right here. For the balancing, we've got the amount of heavily armored targets that spawn on higher difficulties, especially for terminides have been a big discussion point online and internally the intent for this for groups to have to bring some from a anti-tank capability but not to the degree previously needed to that end we have reduced the spawn rates of charges and bio titans on difficulty seven and up in addition we have reduced the risk of spawn spikes of charges and bio titans please note that we have changed the distribution of enemy types not reduced difficulty expect other enemy types to appear in greater numbers instead fair play massive massive run for that one and that's absolutely incredible and hopefully you guys can stop moaning about those bloody titans running around in packs of five and six now next up we have got that this message here saying we are humbled by the community's ability to find things like charges leg meta in our game however spending your heavy anti-tank weapon on legs instead of the obvious weak point seems counter to expectation we are not changing anything with regards to the charges legs we are however lowering the health of the charger's head it should now be at the point where a well-placed shot from a recallless rifle or an EAT-17 instantly kills the charger. Massive, massive, massive. Together with the unfortunately undocumented change of last patch that increased the armor penetration ability of less well-placed shots for the EAT-17s and recallless rifle shots, chargers should now be easier to handle by well-equipped groups. Huge, huge huge that should keep you guys well entertained now go for a headshot with a recoilless rifle or the e80 17 you guys should be winning no more complaints on that matter can we please move ahead with this one now next up we've got the gameplay which is the electronic countermeasures operation modifier which had a chance of giving you a random stratagem instead of you the one you input has been removed in order to be reworked and will be reintroduced in a future iteration we found that this modifier wasn't communicated clearly enough and overall because more frustration than excitement with the way it was currently implemented the change was made in 1.000.100 but was unintentionally omitted from the patch notes and a few small patches that they've added into this as well. They fixed the missing text on several HUD and UI elements, and they fixed several subtitle VO mistakes in the news videos and various crashes that occurred mid-game and when deploying into missions. A load of new known issues that you guys will need to get involved with, but other than that, this patch is great. I'm really happy. Charges are now a load freaking easier. That shouldn't be much of an issue. We shouldn't see as many bio titans that are repeating in difficulty seven and above, and we can now let the rest of the community settle down at large. Now we can dive on into the actual video that we had originally. 
Hopefully you guys enjoy. Sorry for the really long one. This one came up last minute. So like we stated a few days ago, there were 22,000 files, including audio files that were found inside of the game with regards to all new stuff related to the Illuminate and or more things to come weapons and stratagem wise. It's been absolutely crazy. In the last 24 hours, we've had a release of loads of stuff. Now this is a pre-warning. There is some spoilers in here that you guys may not want to know. If you don't want to know it, this is not going to be the video for you 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 want to make sure that you stay tuned for future uploads going up later tonight but with that being said let's dive on in we have got the first piece of information right here which is all maps the maps in this are absolutely mental and i'm fully aware that actually some of these maps are already in the game but there is one highlighted map right here now that highlighted map is an interesting one mainly because it's super earth which is absolutely incredible. And apparently we're due to be going there at some stage during an update. When this will be, there's no time scale. All we know is that in the game, the location is there. Now we know that this is Super Earth as it has sort of like a Metropolis style background. Everything seems lovely and happy go dandy. And it looks very much like the main street that you see in the opening cutscene of the game's entirety. Now this is extremely interesting because we know full well that at some stage or another, the, the Super Earth does get taken over by certain enemies, whether it's going to be the Illumina or it is the Terminides like it shows in the trailer or the Automatons, we'll have to wait and see. But we should at some stage be visiting Super Earth, which is probably the more exciting thing for me. I can't wait to see what it has in store. Next up, we've got this shot here though, which shows quite a lot. It shows a complete overhaul of some things as far as it goes with the upgrades inside the actual ship. You can see some icons on the right hand side including weapons and or upgrades to grenades and stuff like that as well as some imagery that shows some differentiation to the main hangar slash hull which looks pretty damn interesting i don't know if that's going to be a gradual upgrade depending on like the updates that happen or how that one works but we've also got some change on the overall ship management area which ends up looking just ridiculously bloody cool what it is that they're going to do with this or or if we're going to have hangar upgrades to be able to change the aesthetic feel of the inside of our hangars is yet to be seen. All we have is the screenshots with not much actually attached to it. But for me, this information is absolutely bonkers. Now, before we get into the next piece, I want to give you guys an opportunity to win a copy of Helldivers 2. And if you've already got the game, then the money equivalent for super credits. If you do want to get involved with it, all you have to do is go down to the comment section and put a black and a yellow heart in the comment section that is absolutely all it is we're going to be giving away this code in the next couple of days and we're also doing some stuff in the discord which we've now got 3500 like-minded hell divers like yourselves in that server the link's down in the description let's crack on with the video on top of that we also have a load more supply icons now these are pretty interesting the main reason for that is because i don't actually know what that's going to entail there is quite a lot to take into play there is a lot of different icons in here that we have not seen yet but nonetheless with a whole new enemy type that's due to be coming it does not surprise me that there's going to be probably new difficulties and new resources that you guys have got to collect this next image though is one which i don't know if this is going to be coming into the game or not or if this was something that was scrapped but this almost looks like a ranking system now it looks like a very very cool ranking system don't get me twisted almost reminds me of somewhat a sort of halo-ish vibe but alongside the hell divers icons primarily but what this actually entails we are yet to dare see I don't have a clue where this one's going to go, but if you guys have any idea or any concepts that you think would work for this, then let me know via the comment section below, because I think ranking system to a higher degree would be very, very interesting. I just don't know how they'd utilize it so much. We obviously have the level system right now where you can be like sergeant or chief or master sergeant, and you have like the small badge on the left hand side, but it's not really relatable to any of these icons. And there seems to be a lot of icons. So I don't know if these are just going to be adaptable to your own badge that you get to generate and you unlock parts to add into your badge i have no idea i'm as completely clueless with this one as you are 
One thing that is really interesting, though, is a mountable flamethrower turret. Yes, I know that there's some of you pyromaniacs in the comment section. I've seen you guys, you salamander bloody build runners with your flamethrowers and your napalms. Well, now we've got an additional piece for you guys. The mountable turret, which has a flamethrower attached to it. Now, how good this is going to be, we are going to have to wait and see. This is obviously going to be a static turret, so it's not going to be able to move and you're just going to be able to blow out fire. So obviously it's got a range problem already based on that mechanic because it's only going to be able to blow, be able to fire so far a lot like the flamethrower itself. So this is going to cause quite a static issue where you're not going to kill things instantly, but you will set things on fire as they come hurtling towards you. So that'll be an interesting cause for some very funny clips indeed. But the main thing that I wanted to show you guys today that is so damn interesting interesting and one thing that has me a little bit unsure as to what this means is this screenshot right here now i'm really sorry because the green plays with my eyes no end so i know that it's going to with yours but these parts right here look like customization parts we can see a lot of different items on this including things like the stock the muzzle the barrels the main scopes and or additional upgrades for things now this is very very interesting because this is something that the community have asked for for a very very long time now the actual icons for these have no sort of like backing to them so again no information but these are in the game files which we have yet to have seen which means we could be looking at some weapon customization very very soon which is absolutely incredible and if we can start altering stuff and start playing around with colors and adding attachments that is going to take this game to a whole new level let me know if you guys like that idea via the comment section below. I know some people don't like change, so maybe static weapons that you just consistently unlock new weapons is probably a better mechanic for you guys. But what do you reckon to the weapon customization scheme that we've got right now? Next up, though, we've got a poster on Reddit. Now, this is something that I thought that would be good to bring up to you guys, mainly because we like to keep a high morale and keep the morals right within Helldivers in this community. And this post right here was tips from an elitist jerk. This guy is a level 50 max everything and unlocked everything with 200 hours regularly held diving to SOS calls on any difficulty at all. So he's added an entire post of tips and tricks for you guys to be able to learn how how to play now there are two specific parts of this that i'm going to go through with you that i think are very very important if you want to go through the rest which i would recommend because there's some very very good points in here please go down to the description go and show it some love it's already got 4.3 thousand upvotes on it but these two pieces I thought were very, very interesting, but he breaks down a lot, including not fighting everything, how to have a solution for every enemy, how to fight, take out charges and stuff like that. But the one piece in here was ignore the YouTube meta. People seem to fall into this trap where they watch a video that they think they have to use this loadout to complete the mission, and this is just false. There are many loadout options and no one size fits all. Each mission has different objectives and you should be planning your loadout based on the mission this is most obvious in extermination missions when you see everyone pull out the turrets but all mission objectives tend to fall into a defend point to attack point and you should plan your loadout accordingly with a good balance of wave clear and armor penetration this is huge because i know a lot of people do utilize their videos for build statistics and certain builds which they think are better now you do need to remember that you complete this game and run through all of these missions with pretty much anything as long as you really think about it so making sure you use what you enjoy using versus what you're good at using is very very important don't just follow a youtube meta video because it just doesn't seem to be the case with this game when it comes to how it is you can play that also entails with making sure that you're not just kicking people because they don't have what you want them to have in a loadout that being said we've got one more piece of this main reddit post to go through which is this right here if you find yourself surrounded you already messed up i see lots of posts of people complaining about fighting six plus titans chargers hulks and tanks and if you find yourself in that situation you already messed up through his steps of one to four 
I needed my gear, sample objectives are terrible excuses to stay in a losing fight. You might see some picture on here of people running from seven, eight titans or some nonsense. Now these people have intentionally kitting lots of titans for the screenshot or have nothing to kill them but insist on fighting it's not the game spawn rate your fault for engaging when you shouldn't now this is a massive massive feature this is something that i really want to stress out because we've seen and shown on this channel some images and clips of people running from seven eight titans they don't lay out that way if they are that way then it means that the player has generally made that the case so please don't just automatically hate on the spawn rates for this thing this guy has literally run through everything he is easily five times as good as this game than what i am and has a lot more time to obviously go through it he's knowing what he's talking about and this for me is a really key feature there is a lot more in this post so i highly recommend going and checking it out now but unfortunately that's all we've got time for today that is all we're going to be diving into if you haven't already so make sure you smash that beautiful blue thumbs up and subscribe with post notifications turned on thank you so much again for joining us today guys and get into the comment section and let me know your favorite part of this video and we know then that we're doing the right thing and we can dive into some more things you guys want to see. Thanks again for watching. Appreciate you all. And as always, I'll see you in the clouds.